Jimmy and Lisa just talked about the Amish Country Bicycle Tour happening this weekend, and they also said how easy it is to ride a bike. Is it easy? Absolutely. But is it safe? Well, it certainly is if you're able to follow a few simple safety tips. And here to help me with those simple safety tips, we do have John Bear, board member of Bike Delaware. How are you? Pleased to meet you. So uh, what is Bike Delaware exactly? Bike Delaware is the statewide advocacy organization for bicycling in the state of Delaware. We deal with things like funding for trails and pathways, infrastructure for on-road accommodations, and most recently a complete overhaul of the rules of the road for road cycling. Okay, now you're a board member, which is pretty awesome. How did you get to that position? Well, I whined a lot. And they Just said, complain, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to whine about things, come help us fix them. So you said, sure, not a I problem. I said, well, not exactly like that. Yes. I said, yes. Okay, fantastic. So looking at the bikes here, what are just very general safety tips when we're hopping on one of these cruisers? Well, the most important thing is don't crash. Okay. Just going to check that. Okay. Please. <laughs> Half of all bicycle crashes are solo bike crashes with nothing else going on. Really? So look out for gravel, cracks in the roads, potholes. And if you're riding with a group, as you will be on Saturday, look, be aware of what other riders are doing. There are some things that you can do that are completely in your control. Following the rules from the League of American Bicyclists, ABC Quick Check is, okay. A stands for air in your tires, B, your brakes, C, for your cranks and chain, quick, for your quick releases and check check it over just give it a spin make sure it all seems to be working okay all then, right and both of these bikes here seem to be in working order we did the, yes. the abc's now speaking of both bikes these are very 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 different bikes what are the differences between the one i'm holding versus the one that you have this is a full-on capable tour de france bike so you're you're out running f-16 jets with that pretty thing. much okay pretty much cool uh it's very lightweight, very stiff. Some people might call it a little uncomfortable, but it's great in a group of road riders. This is what I call for me, anyhow, a, a high-tech beach bike. It's got 29-inch tires, fatter. Uh, I've gotten rid of a lot of the extra stuff. The gears are really close together. No huge gear or low gear for mountains. Upwind, downwind, and no wind is what this one has. And okay. So this one is more of your, your grocery getter. You, you can got ride it. this any time of the year. And this one, you're getting ready for a long haul. You got it. All right, so tell me this now. How do you get ready for a long haul? Well, the old adage, which is still true, is ride your bike, ride your bike, ride your bike. All these high-tech training gadgets aren't worth much unless you get out there and you ride your bike. However, at this point, for the Amish Country Bicycle Tour, the most important thing to do is to get some rest, and make sure your bike is in good working order. Now, I hear a lot of people change their diets up. They do a lot of carb loading the night before and they have a lot of quick carbs before just to give them that energy. Is that still true today? It is for racing, Okay. but there's so much food on this tour that if you, go hungry, like okay. you go hungry, you did something really wrong. <laughs> awesome, okay, well thank you so much for coming out Great. here and talking with us. Thanks for having me. Now, as far as the uh, safety concerns go, I see we have a helmet here. That's right. Because I'm gonna have to borrow this bike if that's okay. Well. As I started to talk about all the things that are in your control, this is the thing the, that you have also in your control that in the unfortunate case of a crash, this is gonna protect your head. Now, this is frontward, right? That's frontward. I usually wear <laughs> a GoPro on the front, but it's not there today. All right, well, I'm gonna put this Go on. Go for it. Jimmy, Lisa, I'm on my way to you. If I can get on this thing and show you a few safety tips myself. I would like to think that I am in good enough shape to ride that far, but I would probably best check with the doctor with it. Well, yeah, 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 but you could do it. I could do it. It's like riding a bike. It's like riding a bike. It is. And like as a, a matter of fact, speaking of riding a bike, uh, there he is. Look who's here. Woo! Corey. Hey guys. Look wow. at you. So this is the most important thing. Safety first. Safety first. Keeping that noodle soft or something. <laughs> 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 Take care of the noodle. That's what we're worried about. <laughs> oh boy. Well, now that we have what we need for a great ride, here's another idea. Ride your bicycle to work. Why not? Less traffic. And a recent study found that bicycling to work can also lower your stress within the first 45 minutes of actually getting to the office. So if you're thinking about it, here's some advice on how you can make it a safe trip. Biking to work? Safety is always the first priority. To stay safe, 
use bike lanes and ditch the sidewalks. Riding on sidewalks actually increases your chances for intersection collision since bikes on sidewalks are farther away from a motorist's field of view. Now, if there are no bike lanes in your area, the safest place to ride is in the center of the traffic lane. Biking requires all of your senses, so it's safest to ride without headphones. But if you absolutely have to have music, consider riding with a small portable stereo or have your phone play music on the speaker. Also, check your local laws for biking. Some states require bikers on a busy street to have bells, lights, or reflectors on their bike. And finally, their strength in numbers. The number of people biking to work has increased 60% in the last decade. So it shouldn't be hard to connect with other bike riders who can help you find bike-friendly roads. You can seek out a nearby cycling advocacy group on the League of American Bicyclists website by entering your zip code. Making your work commute less stressful and more fun. So worried about showing up to work drenched in sweat? It's easy. Just stash some extra clothes and some toiletries in one of your desk drawers. Okay. Good to go. Sounds simple enough. Okay. All right.